Hello YouTube Vintage Stereo Collectors. Today we're not going to talk about a particular model or brand. We're going to talk about a particular transistor. These little orange Hitachi C458s. And you'll find these, this is a Kenwood KA2000. You'll find them in Kenwood Sensui's. Uh, Pioneers have them. These are the noisiest transistor. They didn't start out that way, but these went noisy very early on in the amplifier's existence. Now, this amp had all the original parts in it except for the, these uh, C458s. One thing that some people don't know is the orange ones were replacements from the factory. They knew this was a problem. And um, the funny thing is, the orange ones went bad too, and mainly either open or noisy, but generally open on the way to being noisy. Um, there's a number of different uh, places you'll find them in the amp. This is the magnetic phono board. I've recapped all the electrolytics, and it had two 2SC350s, the first transistor in the circuit, and two C458s. Now I suspect it had the black C458s and these were put in during warranty work. And the reason I know that is I used to do the warranty work on these years ago. And these orange transistors came out um, from the manufacturer um, as a warranty repair. And we used to get bags of them right into the 1980s. So they're all over the board. This is one of these amps. It has three different boards in it. Um, they were on the tone control board. And the tone control circuit if they're noisy, it's not a big deal. In the phono stage, if it's noisy, it sounds like a thunderstorm. And then there's a couple um, on this board here. This is the uh, preamp and driver board. Now, it looks like two of them were replaced maybe early on. Or there's two SC261s here, 281s um, that have been put in the place where those 458s would have been. Um, just change them. And the neat thing about these circuits, the way they're biased, you can change them with a 2N3904, which are like a dime a dozen, and it's not an exact match, but the way these circuits are biased and the amount of gain that they have, it will be quiet, it will match the sound of the original, and it will give the same amount of gain. So wherever you see these, like basically, you can put two N3904s, the four that are on the phono board, the two that are on the tone board, and then there, there's actually three here on each channel in the preamp driver board. They can all be two N3904s. Interesting thing about these, there's a 2SB89A and a 2SB89A over here. These are PNP germanium transistors. And the funny thing is, these rarely go bad or noisy. And what they are is they are a push-pull pair um, that drives the output transistors. And I think it's called a Suzuki pair is the actual term for it. And uh, they rarely ever go bad. And you think germanium transistors should be shot, but they're actually okay. The late 60s Japanese Hitachi germaniums are just fine. But anyway, just these C458s, if you see them, Get rid of them. Bye.